Peggy 18. So Bioware are known for creating these great RPGs that people really seem to connect with. What do you think is the secret? Well, by where we start with great stories, and we've learned over the years that great stories come from great characters. So we spend a lot of time on the characters themselves, uh, characters you can get personally involved with, characters with a lot of depth, characters with backstory, characters with motivations. We've tried to build all of those things in the games over the years, and we're doing that now in Drain Age Inquisition. Well, I think it's really about bettering what's gone before uh, by where as a a great legacy for in the RPG market, but also from, a, from an artistic standpoint. So when we're approaching a game like Dragon Age Inquisition, uh, really we're thinking, how can we make it bigger? How can it be more, more lush, more creatively fulfilling? Where do you start with it? I mean, it's a big project. What's the kicking off point? So the writers often have a lot of ideas, and they start by drafting out the characters themselves, the places they want to go in the lore, uh, the kinds of scenarios they want the player to get involved in. When we first start, We'll start talking in broad concepts. We don't want the writers to get too far ahead. So we'll say noble knight or, or a thief with a heart of gold. We'll just start with sort of broad strokes. What are the big do's and don'ts, would you say, of making a Bioware RPG? Always make sure the story is there and, and first and foremost. Always make sure players feel like they're getting a big epic uh, story, something that uh, you couldn't have in real life, something that feels like it's bigger than the player themselves. Do's and don'ts. Well. Um, you do want to give the player the, a feeling of, that, that, that their choices matter. That we're not uh, um, saying that you, you have to feel this way about uh, whatever, whatever choice is being presented or whatever is happening in the world. You may not always have a choice of what to do about it, but you should have a choice about who you are. Uh, when it comes to the, the followers, the, the, the people who, who travel with you in the story, they are the ciphers through which the, the player interacts with all the big themes. So if we have the, the Templars and Mages as, as, as being two big elements in this story, we're going to want somebody who, who embraces the view of the Templars, someone who embraces the view of the Mages, and gives it a, a personal face, because otherwise these are very abstract issues. So would you say you've got any don'ts when it comes to making RPG? Yeah, I think don't uh, don't constrain your player too much. Uh, definitely players want uh, amazing epic experiences. You can have intimate moments, you can have uh, smaller moments in there, but they need to be uh, there alongside the really big moments of the game. Uh, other don'ts include, uh, you know, don't think you know what the player wants. Uh, you can tell a story, but how players will experience it is up to them. Don't talk down to your audience. Um, you can run with the assumption that, that your audience is smart enough to figure out things by context. Don't assume that your audience is only made up of one type of person. Um, there's, there's a lot of different people that play the game. We're lucky with Dragon Age because you've got that ability to go in there and mine some really cool things. You still want to have a great story, we still want to have a beautiful world you can immerse yourself in. But the way you go about achieving that is very different. Aaron, thank you very much. And make sure you look out for more videos from my trip to Bioware.